Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 3 where we are learning about trigonometry. Friends, this is episode number 17 and today we are going to find out what kind of questions, problems we, we may be getting on trigonometric ratios related to complementary angles and how do we solve them. This is part 1 because I think we will want to try out at least like few different kinds of questions that you will be getting. So it may take us maybe one or two or even three webisodes. So this will be two part or three part series. We will see what all types of questions that you may be getting on this particular topic and see how many videos we would need to cover all of them. So let's get straight into it. Now friends recall that earlier a few episodes ago we found out the trigonometric ratios of some very important angles and what were they? 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. That is what are the trigonometric ratios for these specific angles and I'm going to provide the link underneath this video because we have earlier looked at each of these angles and then we have looked at how do we calculate the six trigonometric ratios for each one of these angles and this table is just a consolidation of all of them but more importantly just now uh, like the last in the last webisode we have seen that trigonometric ratios for complementary angles are so if you have a right angle triangle a right triangle like this we have angle B 90 degrees and a right triangle ABC then we have seen in our last webisode that sine 90 minus A is equal to cos A. In other words, we know here that angle A and angle C are complementary angles. So angle A and angle C, these two are complementary angles. So 90 minus A is nothing but because A plus C is 90 degrees, we can write angle C as 90 minus A. Simply by moving angle A on this side of the equation at the equal sign, C equal to 90 minus A. So here instead of writing it as C, all of these values as C, we have just expressed them as 90 minus A. We saw this in the last episode and the reason we are doing this is that if we write it this way, then all the angles are expressed only in terms of one angle. So here we have sine 90 minus A equals to cos A, cos 90 minus A equals to sine A, tan 90 minus A equals cot A, cot 90 minus A equals tan A, cosec 90 minus A equals sec A, and sec 90 minus A equals cosec A. Now friends, with this knowledge, let's take a look at solving something like this. You may be getting uh, questions like this in your examination. Find the value of tan 65 degrees divided by cot 25 degrees. So when you look at this, immediately you will realize that these angles, 65 degrees and 25 degrees, they are not your standard angles. That is, it is not 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree meaning that you do not really know the value of tan 65 or cot 25. You do not know the value of either one of them. So how can you really find the value of this ratio? But the strategy that we are going to use to solve these questions is as follows. So first we are going to take a quick look, take a quick look at all the different angles which are involved in your question. So take a look at all the different angles that you have in your question. Then find out if we add the different angles, do we get 90 degrees? If yes, this is the case of complementary angles, right? And then finally, it is our goal to express all of them in terms of one angle. So quickly recap. First, Take a look at all the different angles. Take a look at all the different angles. Second, if we add the different angles, 
do we get 90 degrees? If yes, we have to apply complementary angles principle or the rules from complementary angles. And finally, we try and express all angles, express all angles in terms of one angle using the complementary angle ratios. So here if you notice, so at the very beginning, we don't know tan 65 degrees, we do not know cot 25 degrees. However, if we add 65 plus 25, indeed this is 90 degrees. Remember that if we add two angle A plus C and if it is 90 degrees, that means these two are complementary angles, right? So we can apply the complementary angle ratios. So, what do we know about complementary angle ratios? So, our question is tan 65. So, we can write tan 65 as tan 90 minus 25. Right? Because 65 plus 25 equals 90 or 65 is 90 minus 25. We can write it this way. Divided by cot 25. Why are we doing this? Because we want to express all angles in terms of only one angle. So here we are expressing all angles in terms of 25 degrees. And obviously I am not counting the 90 because 90 is a standard angle. So our question is this. So this actually becomes, we can write the original question as tan 90 minus 25 degrees divided by cot 25 degrees. Now we know from complementary angle ratios that tan 90 minus something is really equal to cot of 25 degrees. So essentially what we have is we have cot 25 degrees divided by cot 25 degrees and even though we don't know what the value is but whatever the value they both cancel out and this ratio is 1. That is the value of this ratio is 1. So let's take a look at one more example find the value of, now this is not a ratio question, this is an uh, expression, right? So find the value of cos 42 degree minus sine 42 degrees. Cos 48 degree minus sine 42 degrees. Again, our strategy is taking a quick look at all the angles involved, all the different angles involved. If we add them, do we get 90 degrees, right? If yes, we have to apply complementary angle ratios, correct? And we also have to get all the angles in terms of any one of the angles. So it does not matter. So first let's find out. So here if we do 48 plus 42, so if you add them, so we get zero. Yeah, it's 90 degrees. That means these two angle, these two angles are complementary angles. Now, now that we know that these two angles are complementary angles, it does not matter if you want to express them in terms of 48 or if you want to express them in terms of 42. So here what we can write is we can write this as cos 48 degrees minus sine, let's say sine, this is actually a rough work, right? So sine 90 minus 48 degrees. So I am expressing 42 as 48. So 90 minus 40, 90 degree minus 48 degrees. Or in other words, we have cos 48 degrees minus, now sine 90 minus something is going to be cos of that angle. So we don't know the value of this, but whatever the value, they are the same value. So same value, so plus minus will cancel, you will get a zero. So it's important to remember friends that these values that sine 90 minus A is equal to cos A. It's important to remember similarly cos 90 minus A is equal to sine A. Essentially these things, these values you absolutely must remember and similarly cot 90 minus tan 90 minus A is equal to cot A. I am essentially repeating the same, same trigonometry, uh, the complementary ratios. So sine 90 minus A is equal to cos A, cos 90 minus A is sine A, tan 
tan 90 minus a equals cot a. So all of these, it's very important that we we remember these values. So in addition, in addition to what we have learned earlier, that is a standard, the standard angles, the trigonometric ratios for standard angles. In addition to that, it's very important that we remember the complementary angle ratios as well. Now let's take a look at one more question. So here the question is now, prove that tan 48 degrees times tan 23 degrees times tan 42 degrees times tan 67 degrees is 1. So immediately you will notice that there are four angles involved. So take a look at all the different angles. So how many angles are involved here? So 48, 23, 42, 67. So we have four angles that are involved here. Now find out if we, if we add them, do we get 90 degrees? Now we don't have two angles. So we have four angles. So what we are looking here is we are looking to find pairs of two angles such that each pair, if you add them, are we getting 90 degrees. So in other words here, so if I take 48 degrees, I am trying to find out, is there another number, is there any other angle that if I add to 48 will become 90 degrees? So 48 and sure enough 42, if I take these two pair, if you add them you will get 90 degrees. Similarly, if I take 23, and 67, if I add them, I get again 90 degrees. So 48 plus 42 is 90 degrees. Similarly, 23 plus 67 is 90 degrees. So even though I have more than two angles, I have four angles, so I am trying to find out pairs that together, if you add them, you get 90 degrees. So A plus B is 90 degrees. Similarly, C plus D is 90 degrees because then I can apply the I can apply the complementary angle ratios for these two together and these two together. In other words, if my question is this, so this expression right is equal to so I can write tan 48 degrees multiply by tan. 90 minus 48 for this this value. So I have like four. Uh, I have got I have got four ratios here. Tan 48 multiply by multiply by tan 23 multiply by tan 42 multiply by tan 67. So tan 48 multiply by for tan 42 I can write 90 minus 48 times tan 23 multiply by tan 67 I can write that as tan 90 minus 23. So by doing this what I have here is so tan 48 times tan 90 minus some angle is cot 48. 48 these are all degrees. Similarly times tan 23 degree times tan 90 minus 23 is cot 23 degrees. So here what I have is I know that tan of any angle, I know that tan of any angle is equal to 1 by cot of the same angle. In other words, if you multiply them, right, tan times cot is equal to 1. So if you take this over here, then tan A times cot A equals 1. So these two, if you multiply this, you will get 1. So you will have 1 times, if you multiply these two, you will get 1 again, 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. So indeed, this expression is equal to 1. So friends, let's take a look at probably one more final question. So here we have, cos 38 degree times cos 52 degrees minus sine 38 degrees minus sine 52 degrees. So 
take a look at all the different angles. So how many angles do we have? 38 degree, 52 degree, 38 and 52 degree. So we have two different angles. So if we add them, do we get 90? So let's do this. So 38 plus 52. So indeed, this is 90 degrees. So we can apply complementary angle ratios. So our goal is to express all of them into one angle. It does not matter again if you want to express all of them as 30 degree angle, 38 degree or 52 degrees. So in this case, we want to express all of them as 38 degrees. So prove that this expression is equal to 0 degrees. So let's find out. So this expression on the left hand side is equal to so we have, because we want to express them in terms of 38 degrees, so we want to write cos 38 degrees. So we will leave this as it is times cos 90 degrees minus 38 degrees. Let's just get this over here. So this minus sine 38 degrees times sine 90 minus 38 degrees writing the 52 degree as 90 minus 38 degrees so here what we have is we have cos 38 degrees times now cos 90 minus something is equal to sine 38 degrees right so cos 90 minus A is equal to sine A. So that this will be sine 38 degrees minus we have sine 38 degrees times sine 90 minus something is equal to cos of that angle. So this will be cos 38 degrees. So what we he have here is cos 38 times sine 38, whatever the value is, minus sin 38 times cos 13. So same number minus same number will be again 0. So friends here again, even though we do not know the values for the trigonometric ratios of these angles. So here like 38 degrees and 52 degrees and earlier 48 degrees and 42 degrees and before that 65 degrees and 25 degrees even though we do not know the trigonometric ratios of these values, but we can definitely solve these questions using complementary angle ratios.